Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Today is Sunday, September 4th, 2022. Week 196. 196. Sorry for the delay. Um, I took a short vacation to Vegas. Yeah. Hot vacation to Vegas. A very hot vacation to the desert in the middle of <laughs> August. Don't ever do that. I won't oh, well. do that again. Yes, yeah, so and then and then after Stace got home on Saturday late, mm-hmm. so we missed this last weekend as well. Um, our schedules, our lives were crazy. By the time she got home from work, we had a 14 shirt order to do. And yep. by the time we got done with that, it was about 3.30 in the morning. And, and it has just not stopped since. So we didn't even have an opportunity last week. And I barely even saw you. Yeah. Didn't see you the whole week you were gone. And then when you got home, still didn't really see you. Playing so catch-up schedule at work. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the word of 2022, crazy. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been that way for us, at least. Busy. So, yeah. hey, um, two weeks ago, when we had done our last weigh-in, it was 346. And this morning, I was 345.8, which I'll call 346. So I'm pretty much the same. And I was at 164 uh, this morning. I was um, 165. Okay. So you're up so, to come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was uh, not bad. I mean, it, I ate a little different down there being oh, so sure. hot. And we went on a, a trip to the Grand, Grand Canyon. And it was all carbs for food. Um, oh, they supplied the food? Yeah. It was Subway for breakfast, which was odd. I was confused. I knew they were providing lunch, breakfast and lunch and um, but you don't know what you get until you go. No, and so there was an order form, and I it was all like breakfast, like lunch sandwiches, like turkey and ham and things. Mm. And I crossed off the egg and just put circled turkey, and I took a bite and thinking I was going to have a turkey sandwich, and it was a hot egg on it. And a little weird. It was weird, so I just pulled the egg off and ate. But um, beautiful, beautiful um, day. Trip. And day, yeah, yep. great trip, hot trip. Um, Grand Canyon was only 86 degrees, so I was very happy at that versus the 110 that it was while we were there. Uh, so, but it was good to get home and be back sleeping in bed and just have my get honey back here. In and, routine. Sometimes and, there's no place like home, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my fingers are finally settled down, they're still a little rings are still a little tight, but you know, it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you went, and I'm glad you had fun. I just physically couldn't have made it. In fact, I had fallen about two and a half weeks ago out in the yard and got my rib really good. Um, just before I left. Up, twisted that up when we were outside working and um, going up the yard. And then um, when they were gone, I went into the garage. We only have two steps. And I turned to go to the right and clipped the side of my ankle bone on the concrete stair and my weight went down on that bone so I fractured the little bone on the side of my ankle and um, yeah I just I'm destroyed right now mm-hmm. and unfortunately our youngest stayed home with Bill and had band camp so I had, had a driver, had driver two stay. times a day 25 minute drive each way it's my right ankle yeah. so it was kind of touching where I was doing gas and then on the mm. center console and I got to say that was uh, probably one of the worst four or five days there I've had in a long time. I mean, my ankle's just shooting pain. Yeah. So, you know, but you, you know, you look at it and you say, well, in, in a month from now, I'll, that'll go away and I'll just be back on my track and mm-hmm. just trying to stay positive and keep moving forward. I, t- I tried carnivore for quite a while and I, I'll say I wasn't 100% successful with it. But I, I didn't really see any difference on my way. I mean, it's like almost like my body's revolting on things. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. It is what it is. I'm not doing real good on the numbers. I'd like to see. Um, my sugar's doing good. That's good. My thing. medicines have been readjusted and yeah. feeling a little bit better. And um, so that's good. I'll take all that. You know, I'll go for the health aspect. But I'd like to see the numbers come down more. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Didn't even go too far off course like when you guys were gone. Just my basics of eggs and stuff. Yeah. I don't know why I want chicken lately. <laughs> I just want chicken like and and our store's got nothing. 
Every time you go to the store, there's nothing. Hardly anything. I don't know why. Me neither. Yeah. I, for a long time, I go with, uh, like, my eggs. And then, but I like my chicken, and I can't find chicken lately. Even, like, just boneless chicken thighs or, or chicken thighs with skin even or anything. Stores yeah. just don't have it right now. Even Costco, I mean, I went to go get ground beef the other day, and there was, like, three packs left. So, I'm like, man. Yeah, I got to get quick. it first thing in the morning or not at all. We tend to quick. shop later in the evening, so by the time that I'm shopping in the evening... It's gone. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I just happened to be out. I had to take Lauren to an urgent care for a drug test for a new job for her. So, we happened to be near Costco, so we stopped by and... Had a little lunch with Stace, yeah. and, and then I grabbed some ground beef before it was all gone. Yes. <laughs> Made up some smash burgers, so tonight we're going to have smash burgers when you get home. Yes. Yeah. I'm it'll be excited fun. for smash burgers. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Anything else you were want to uh, discuss or talk about? How are you doing on your menopause stuff? Huh. You're still not into menopause. You're perimenopause, perimenopause or premenopause? Still. The... I don't even want to say it, but they've been minimal here recently. Good. Thank goodness in Vegas, nothing. Cause yeah, because of the heat. and just, I oh. can't even imagine having a hot Rough flash time. in that heat. I mean, I'm always cold. I was showering twice a day. It was so hot. And then yeah. by, well, 10 o'clock here, 7 o'clock there, I was like ready to just sunk because I was just exhausted from the heat of the day. We did a lot of walking. My feet didn't hurt. My knee hurts, but... I think it's because I'm bone on bone, but the heat really zapped me. He's like, I'm surprised you went to bed. I'm like, I was exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm surprised with all the heat and all the movement because you guys walked a lot that you yeah. didn't come home two pounds lighter or something, you know, just from. Yeah. I mean, I was and... drinking a lot of water. Um, I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. It's... I'm not physically moving real well, but I'm trying to, to, to do basic stuff like i was cooking that ground beef out there for about an hour yesterday cooked a bunch of ground beef up and things like that just whatever i could do physically i yeah. try and then i have to take breaks put the ankle up put ice on it it just throbs so yeah. i feel like i'm living on ibuprofen and i don't want to take that in yeah. general unless i have to lots so, of ice he's been using lots of ice yep. little ice pack and stuff so i'm trying you know we'll get through it uh, tomorrow's Labor Day. Hopefully Yay. everybody has the day off and are going to enjoy some family time. Um, I'm, I have to work. I'm, I'm working Camus at home for reservations. That should be interesting. We have so many projects going on around the house that are <laughs> almost done or just need a little bit more. Um, tried to spruce up the front porch a little bit. And it looks super cute. He surprised me when I got home yeah. um, with the front porch. So. He did a good job. I was yeah. very happy when I saw it. And Well, and then, you know, I started power washing the sidewalk and noticed <laughs> it was so dirty. You don't notice something is dirty like that until you, like, hit it with a power washer. And then next thing I know, I'm like, oh, now I'm doing the whole sidewalk, you know. Like, like a couple of weeks back, maybe about almost a month ago now, we did the gutters. Yes. And uh, maybe about three weeks ago or so. And the outside of the gutters were bad, but the inside of the gutters were like muck. Yeah. And it was like dirt and soil and muck. And there was even like a little tree or two growing out of them. So we cleaned those all up. So, you know, like a lot of these little projects, we're getting there. Yeah. Just, you know, oh, that looks better. Oh, that looks a lot better. You know, that's cute. And it's motivating um, to get the next one done. But Sure it is. We've got time. We've got a lot on the list. But, you know, you just do what you can when you can. And, and sometimes it takes a little longer than you expected. But that's okay. Yeah. We'll get there. We will. Yeah, but on the food front, um, I don't know how you how you feeling on foods. Are you kind of back into your routines? Are you feeling good? And and I'm not feeling like anything. I don't want to eat anything. I don't. Nothing sounds good. A smash burger sounds good. Yeah, it's hamburger nice sounds good. Ham hamburger, but I don't know. I'll grow some onion and some hamburger. I probably won't even use a bun. Just throw it all together on a plate. Piece of cheese. I like that though. That's that sounds good to me. So I'm excited for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. I'll do a little video of Stacy being the the grill king. <laughs> no? I'm not a king. I'm a queen. You're the grill queen. Well, right. could say that ten times Grill fast. queen? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. I, I do enjoy. I have definitely have cooked 
on the on the grill more in the last few like month and a half than I have mm-hmm. in the last ten years. Yep, I would say that's true. Yep, because I'm used to the one that cooks. So now baking is different. Yeah, if it, if it comes to a recipe and baking something, Stacy's the one. Because yeah, I just throw stuff in. That's close enough. Does that doesn't work. Does it out of order? I'm like you can't do it out of order. Some things for, you can, but some things you cannot. For cooking dinner, sure. For making like a cake or something from scratch, no. You need you with little measuring cups, and I just <laughs> stay out of the room because I'm like, oh, geez. He's like, do you really have to measure that? Yes. I know. I get it. I don't actually say that. I just say, I can't believe you're measuring that because I wouldn't yeah. measure it. But then again, if we made two cakes next to each other, mine would not turn out right. <laughs> or whatever it is, you know. I don't know. It's just the way it is. Crazy. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I actually got quite a bit of sleep last night. My sleep has been off the last two weeks because of Vegas being three hours behind us and... Now being home. And then when she got home... It was like just throwing you into a blender because you came home from work like nine o'clock and then we had to work in shirts till like three thirty in the morning. Stacy was helping me. My ankle was bad and standing and doing all that for yeah. a couple hours was rough. So she came down to help me. And then you get up and start doing it all the next morning and it's just like it never ends. It feels like that. <laughs> I just want to enjoy life sometimes. Yeah. Just like, hey, I'd like to hang out with you. We're gonna we're gonna go camping at the end of the month. Yeah, we are going to go camping couple nights, but for the end of the month. That'll be kind of fun. We got, what, two nights, I think? Friday, yeah, Friday night, Saturday night, and we come home Sunday. Maybe we'll try and do like a, a quick video from the campground for yeah the other channel, but also for the keto just for our update. Maybe yeah. we'll weigh, out, weigh in on Friday morning instead of Saturday morning, head off Friday afternoon, and then be able to do Saturday morning from the campground. Sure. That's the hope, if I can get signal to upload <laughs> Right. I don't know. We're in the middle of the woods, so exactly. we'll just have to see. Yeah. There was something else I was going to talk about. Oh, we just now see. Here's here's the weird part. Stacy and I like to watch some programs together, but a lot of times we're not together to watch programs. So when Stacy was in Las Vegas and she would come home at night, she would start watching a little bit of a program, and then she'd tell me what she watched, and I'd watch it here. Mm-hmm. And 2008. <laughs> A program came out. We're called, always behind the times on TV. I know. It's what, 2022? But a program called Heartland came out, and we really enjoyed a lot of related programs similar to that. So she mm-hmm. was watching Heartland, and she kept telling me, hey, I'm on episode, like, you got up to like 12, I think, or 11 yeah. or something. And I'm like, man, I guess I need to watch some of this. Yeah, I watched, you know, on the plane. Um, oh, that's right. You put it so on we had iPad. some. Yeah, we had it on my iPad, so I was able to watch it at the airport. Watch some of it on the plane, and mm-hmm. then at night, I often had to rewatch part of it because because you'd fall asleep. I'd fall asleep because I was just exhausted Aww. from the day. But but I actually got through quite a bit of it. Yeah, it we was, liked. Uh, so we just finished season one. There was thirteen episodes total. I think she got eleven or twelve of them in mm-hmm. while she was traveling. So I had some catch up to do. But but then again, I had to put my leg up and ice it every like couple hours. I'd have to stop and ice it, and it's just bugging the heck out of me so to distract me i would put it on and watch it to try and catch up to where you're at right and we finally caught up and then last night we it was late it was probably like 10 o'clock <laughs> but we just said let's watch the last one so we can go the to bed finale and, for season one yeah so we watched the the end of season one now i think there's multiple seasons i, I want to say 14 or 15 maybe oh, i'm uh-huh. maybe i'm wrong but there's, there's a lot. So we have a lot of watching that we can do for the future if you continue to like it. Yeah. But so far, we liked it. It's a, it's a silly little show, but I like the horses. So Yeah. Yeah. I don't see any baby goats yet, though. That's my favorite. There's a there's a game. No. There's a game no. for PlayStation. I don't know what PlayStation 4, maybe, or 3, or I don't know. But it's called Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator. And I don't know what you do exactly if you play with them or if you like Grand Theft Auto and run around and smack people with your goat horns or if you have to like make them grow and be healthy or what exactly. He's but it's called kid. Goat Simulator and I'm going to look it up on YouTube after we're done because I'm really kind of curious. I'd like to see what that game is all about because I want a baby goat. I don't want a baby goat. I just want to play with a baby goat and then give it back. 
like like grandkids like hey let me have this kid and we'll play and we'll buy toys and we'll do stuff and then i'm gonna just give them back well i don't want grandkids yet no i don't know oh good lord you're a gilf <laughs> stacy's a gilf i'm gonna make you a shirt gilf future gilf how about that i'm not a, I'm no? not a grandma right now <laughs> <laughs> not gonna be a grandma for a while probably not Oh well. I well, hey guys, husband. sorry, sorry to <clears throat> we've been gone for a couple of weeks and uh, just just things have been bleh, crazy. Yeah. But you know, as the baby goats say, "Bah, we're back, we're back." <laughs> and uh, you know, gotta get through this. <laughs> How many goofy, kids do I have? Oh, I have three. Gotta get through this goofy ankle thing, and um, I don't know, man. I've been going so simple on foods, but I think it just. I think it's just got to try and be more active. Yeah, and I'm, I even tried to pedal a bike. That did not work with a busted ankle. No. No, it hurts. And I thought being down and not having the the weight of walking, that it would be better. And, and no. It's that no. motion. I don't even think it was like eight minutes and I was like, I'm done. I just couldn't do it. Yeah. So just try and relax and ice it and be patient. Yeah. Play Goat Simulator if I can find it. On that note, I think I'm going to go to work and, I don't uh, know, we'll, it was a home game yesterday, so we weren't super busy mid-afternoon. Um, busy, busy in the morning. Home I don't game know what, what? today what do you for mean Michigan. Home game? College oh, started. College football okay. started. I was like, I'm not, I'm not following you. Yeah, college okay. football started. Um, today, I don't know what today is going to bring. It's either going to be crazy busy or not at all. Yeah, and we're right by ENR. We're actually kind of between state and um Closer to, to yeah, closer to the Wolverines. But, but you kind of get a little both. When yeah. you drive down the street, you see both stickers, the green, Michigan. There's a lot of house houses that are divided. Yes. And and that's fine, too. Yeah. I don't really care for either team, so I don't care. Give me yeah. a goat. I'd be happy with a goat. <sighs> he would. Actually, I'd just be happy to hang out with you. If Aww. I could see you. And you're not all hot lately. You're not going to bed know, and like right? sweating and I, like pulling like the I covers. Said, I didn't so want to good. say it out loud, but it was like, whoa. Not been horrible, huh? Not been horrible recently. Maybe that. Maybe going to Vegas and having that <laughs> thermostat get kicked up to 115 degrees made your body say, "Hey, we don't have to heat up anymore because she's all hot now." You know. <laughs> and then and then now it's like still confused. Let's yeah. let it be confused and not make you hot. Right? We can you got sit hair next all to you. over you. You got like, this is your I hair. I have a lot of hair. Yeah, look at all these hairs. You know what's funny is when it's a silver one, because then it just like glows like, like Christmas, like the the tinsel on the trees. You know the little tinsel, the little silver tinsel yeah. on the tree. That's what it looks like when it's on your shirt. What? When the light hits it just right, it's like, what it? Oh. You get a lot more grace. I am. It's very concentrated right here. Yeah. And I'm starting to get it over uh -oh. here. Oh, yeah. Everybody at work to ask her asks her all the time who does your hair, how they do that, and it's like, no, nope, this is natural. It's really weird when you feel somebody staring at you, especially when you come <laughs> back from lunch because you're like, do I got food, I on, food me? on me? Yeah, do I got something um, on my shirt? It, you know. And um, I had a gentleman the other day, and uh, just staring. And I was like, okay. And of course, I was like. Cause you're hot. I'm, I'm a girl's out. <laughs> and uh, come so, on, you can't hide the girls. I mean, that's well, just know, gonna but, be there. But were they? Uh, who knows? I had a V-neck shirt on. The girls <laughs> out. <laughs> but what? anyway, he just kept staring and staring. And he's like, "I know you felt me staring." I was like, "Kinda." Oh, no. <laughs> what do you want me to say? And he's like, "My brother's a hairdresser," and I was trying to figure out how your stylist got your hair so perfectly like that. And I was like, God. Mother Nature is my stylist. God did it. It was the funniest thing because I actually get a lot of comments from guys on it. A lot of from ladies too, but um, more more often than I would think for the guys making comments on it. But I guess there are some days where it just looks really white. I don't know how white it looks to in the camera, but... It's white. Yeah, and depending on how the light's hitting it, what room you're in, or yeah. if you're outside, is a big difference too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's cute. It's pretty. It's, it is. It's, I like you it. You gotta embrace I don't mind it. it. I used to pluck try. them. 
Yeah. And then I oh, was no, like, no. Mm, I'm going to be bald there. Better cut it out. Don't do that. And you're going to have thin hair and then you're going to be <laughs> mad about that. Right. Exactly. So nah, embrace it. I do. It looks nice. It is what it is. It is. Now, this is the only area I have it in. I don't have any back in the back. Yeah, that is weird. You don't have it anywhere else. Well, my grandma passed. She was in her mid-90s, and she just had the two skunk stripes, is what we used to call them. <laughs> okay. Well, Jet black hair and stripes. There you go. So, I All right, guys. Going. We are going to head off for the day, and we will do our best to just try and get back on a regular schedule for everybody. Regular and, scheduled uh, program. Yeah. And everybody do good. And uh, if you're on your journey, hopefully your journey is more successful than mine. <laughs> and you don't fall and you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> what can you do? You know, you just, you get through it and you move on. That's Absolutely. what I'm trying to, to think about. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.